so the next topic is the taproot its selection nothing but a construction type what is taproot bearing we are going to see and based on that its construction type we are going to select the bearing so let's see it this is a taproot bearing we have already seen this thing in our first lecture also but what is it we will uh, just revise it one time it is basically in a conical shape okay the inner race is called a cone and the outer race is called a cup and both are separable the assembly can be done at any time and both the things can be separately mounted on the housing and the journal also so in this type of table it is uh, sorry bearing it is possible to make adjustment for radial clearance also so it in it have two types that is single row or double row based on heavy load we have to select double row for light load or for medium we can use for single row also so taper roller bearing it is a line of action resultant makes as i told you that whenever you will find a angular portion you will find a two types of loading condition that is radial and thrust so in this taper roller bearing both types of load can be sustained so it is suitable radial both the loads now the conical surface of each roller is subjected to pressure which acts normal to the surface okay so therefore if the external force acting on the bearing is purely radial it induces a thrust load also thrust reaction within the bearing that's why these bearings are good so to avoid the separation of the cup from the cone this thrust reaction must be balanced by an equal and opposite force so this force which is acting on it that is the thrust reaction even if the load is radial the thrust reaction is there so it is balanced by the equal and opposite force because of the cone shape so one of the methods of creating this force is to use at least two taper roller bearing on the same shaft if you use two taper roller bearing on the same shaft this force can be balanced now how to place this two bearing that is face to face or back to back let's see so thrust reaction of two bearings balance which is either based on two construction let's see this two construction it is phase two i will show directly the figure when two bearings are mounted on the shaft with their backs facing with each other the mounting is said to be back to back this is this is back this is one back this is back to back so radial load is here okay when okay this is face to face that is this cone phase and this cone phase are so the for load case fra is greater than or equal to frp so axial load will be what 0.5 fra upon y this is a formula which is shown here for case 1 case 2 and case 3 also that is fra is less than frp and if fra is less than frp and k a is less than 0.5 in this case also. this is the case now next case is what thrust component if fa created due to radial load if suppose now only thrust for uh, axial load is there and due to that the radial load is created here so based on that the value of y is taken as 1.5 so in the preliminary stage of bearing selection the value of y is 1.5 and it is shown in this table for back to back and face to face this is a so based on this two different cases that is six cases we have seen case 1 case 2 case okay so based on this the selection of bearing has been done in taper roller bearing okay thank you very much